welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Jennifer Hayes. I have an Etsy shop uh, where I sell vintage jewelry on YouTube. I open jewelry bags that I get from thrift stores and other places. Today I'm going to be opening a bag from Prime Thrift. This bag was $14.14. I do think I have some kind of coupon for it. Or like a total of, I think, a $10 off of my order. So, basically, it could be pretty much $4 after my discount. So, let's open it and see what we have today. Oh, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. thing we have here looks like a ornament I am with you because you remember me very cool oh, I have angel backwards very pretty and it's hallmark Camera does not do autofocus, unfortunately. That next we have what is that tags on it still? $14 tag, Monet. And this is a plasticky resin um, bead necklace. Little gold tone beads between them. Does have the fourteen dollar tag? It's kind of longer. So that's nice, brand new. This has a tag, and it says Coro Jewelry. Very nice. This is really it. And this is a pink and clear crystal necklace crystal bead necklace faceted beads very pretty this has a hook clasp and like i said new with tag wow that's awesome is it signed on there though let's check that out so that's pretty i'm happy so far Okay, what do we have going on? We have some kind of glass bead bracelet. It has some sparkle in it. Blue. Or the cord is blue underneath, actually. That's what it is. And it's knotted in between and has a lobster claw clasp. It's actually a nice little bracelet. Unsigned. What we have here it looks like it came apart. So these are a pair of earrings. I'll fix that later. And it looks like this came down. These are new on card. They say precision. Oh, precious, lead compliant. That kind of beat. Alright, then we have a broken watch. Does it have a brand? Made in China. It's kind of cool watch. Same as broke. Okay, then we have some earrings on a card from Rainbow. Big old hoops. Little plastic hearts. This is tangled. Oh, that's a magnet. There we go. This looks like some kind of eyeglass chain. It's plain silver tone eyeglass holder. And we have a gold tone eyeglass holder. Little 
silver tone necklace. out some of the black and clear rhinestones and this one has a lobster claw clasp extender this is pretty looks like all the stuff is there it is unsigned and we have a I'm not sure if this is faux or real um, this cord necklace not sure if that's supposed to be tied or not. That's lobster claw clasp. Unsigned. And we have a gold tone necklace. This little twist in it a little bit. This one has a spring ring clasp. Unsigned. Here we have a glass bead. This is glass, yeah, glass bead necklace with some silver beads and then cross some little glass bead dangles. This has the toggle clasp. And I don't see it signed anywhere. It's a cute little bracelet. No, I'm signed. I hope you could even see that. I paid attention in the camera. Okay, let's get this out and see what this one is. Here we have, this is a Monet too, I can tell just by the clasp. That's the sister clasp, signed Monet, dangle tag. And this is just another little resin bead necklace with the gold spacer beads. And I believe this is either a navy, I think it's navy, navy blue. Here we have a hematite necklace with some little rock chips on there. Very cool. Um, like I'm coming a blank to the name of the stone right now. I do know what it is, but I cannot think of what it's called. Carnelian, maybe carnelian chips, possibly. And then some little faux pearls. It's kind of cool. We have some little bracelet pieces. These are lace bracelets that you can make yourself by picking the little links. Oh, this is a big one. Okay, and this has some kind of tag. It says Instagram $69. Someone had this marked for. And this is a big I'm not quite sure which way that goes okay here we go is it okay so I guess this is just top that don't make sense though maybe this is you can wear it different ways because it has both ends have little lobster claw clasps but that's quite a necklace there multi chain heavy pretty heavy you have to your neck might get tired after wearing that for a little while here we have a nice gold tone long necklace with some little discs hammer discs and just other little links and this one has a tang too rivera oh, the bling queen That's kind of pretty. That's really long. And oh, let's see, does it have a dangle? This has the toggle and it does have a little dangle on it. And this is Premier Designs. You're never gonna see it on my camera. But that is a Premier Designs logo. That's nice. We have another little silver tone toggle glass bracelet. This is really cute too. I see right now that has the Premier Designs mark right there on it. It does have a little rhinestone heart dangle. I made up all these little chunky 
links. Very pretty. And it's in good shape. And it has some random earrings. Blue glass earring. Blue glass. We have a another silver tone necklace. It's like a glass teardrop faceted piece there. Some little rhinestones, they all seem to be there. Lobster claw clasp, unsigned. Have a hoop earring, silver tone. Put the earrings over there, actually. Let's see if we get the matches. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, then we have a little angel necklace, silver tone. A lobster claw clasp. It has the little crystal bead dangle on the end. That's cute. And this is unsigned. There we go, little angel. Then we have a pair of lever back earrings. A little wear on these ones. You can see the copper coming through on the back a little bit. These are green enamel. A little green um, rhinestone in the center. Lots of bracelets. Here's a silver tone heart bracelet, it looks like, maybe. Yep. Oh, that's cute. With the, um, oh, what is that called now? I can't think of it. The shell. Uh oh, I cannot think of it right now. I'm drawing a blank. But you all know what it is. I'll remember it in a few minutes. And each one's different colored. Shell inside there. I cannot remember what it's called. Anyway, moving on. Oh, let me see. That did not have any sign, and there is some wear, a little bubbling on the back, unfortunately. Here we have a halite necklace with some, I believe, glass stones and some shell pieces and a piece of tiger's eye there and some little brown root beer colored crystals. That's very cute. The stretchy. Stretch is still pretty good. We have a little gold tone heart earring with a little clear rhinestone in there. Unsigned. There's a little pair of I believe Plastic earrings on a fish, fish wire, whatever it's called, fish hook wire. Here we have a glass bracelet, glass beads on stretchy. Feels nice and gold. Looks like another eyeglass holder. Anyone actually buy these things? Here we have a gold tone necklace. And looks like the other end might be missing off because this has a magnet on one end, but I don't see anything on this end. And this might be Monet. It is Monet. That's a shame. Maybe the other piece will be in there. You just need the other little magnet end to it. Otherwise in good shape. Here's the other blue glass earring. That's a pair. Empty card. We have some silver tone. Little paparazzi earrings and dangles. 
you on the card. A little plastic and silver tone bead bracelet. So made. It's a gold spring ring clasp. Green plastic pieces. And yet again, another eyeglass holder. And we're up to what? Two golds and two silvers at least. And we have this one looks a little worn here. See the copper coming through. Love a silver tone chain with a toggle clasp. On the side. Bend up dangle bracelet. We have a stretchy. Looks like little green rhinestones in there. I can't tell if they're glass or plastic. And I don't see it signed anywhere. Still got a lot of nice stretch. In good shape. And we have one earring. One big. Earring feels light, really light, with some tiger print on it, sparkles. Let's see if we can find the other piece in the bag. Here's a, another pair like that, kind of. We got the animal print, this one looks leopard print, with some circles, big ones, and fish wire, or fish hook, whatever, wire, earring. This one's kind of cool. I like this. And this is gold tone. It's kind of wearing though, or maybe it just needs to be cleaned up. Necklace. It has the lobster claw clasp. There is somewhere there. I like it's not signed. And here we have a big old ring. Where they floss it in. Looks like glass, but I'm not going to say for sure. And I don't see it signed anywhere. Costume jewelry. Still nice though, pretty. We have a star earring gold tone. It is missing. And there you see a rhinestone. We have a gold tone earring. Big one. It's just a pierced earring. A little tiny pair of pierced, pierced earrings. Gold tone. Doesn't really help me putting it close to the camera because it just kind of looks blurrier. I don't think I have autofocus. They are unsigned. We have a, another bracelet, almost like the other one. With the little shell stuff in it. Oh, why can't I remember what it's called? Okay, and it has the lobster claw class, unsigned. It's in good shape though. Better than the other one, it's not bubbling on the back. Oh, here we have another big old necklace. Again, has lots of different hooks. This looks like actually a brooch on it. So, oh. so this must be one of the necklaces you can wear many different ways. This is a it's actually a brooch or a pendant. It has the magnetic clasp. And this one has many, many layers. It's actually pretty cute, though. Got some rhinestone dangles somewhere. Some faux pearls. Those are a little cute. Rondelles on there. Big faux pearls. 
these little cute, almost heart-shaped things. Lots and lots of lobster claw claps, so you must be able to wear this multiple, multiple ways. That's a cute little little rhinestone dangle on the end of the clasp, too. kind of like that. I would never be able to wear it. It's a little much for me, but that's very cute. And, oh, yeah, it looks like on the back of this, I can see the um, Premier Designs. It's so tiny, the Premier Designs mark. So this is most likely Premier Designs necklace, since this was on there. So cute. That's in really good shape. Really, really good shape. Let's see what else we have here. Hmm. I'm not quite sure what this is. Maybe this goes on a tie or something. It looks like little western dancers, maybe. And the back looks like this. Then let me know if you know what that's too. Maybe it was on some kind of scarf or something. It's a very nice shape. Looks new. Yeah, it looks like little country dancers on there. Very cool. Never got one of those before. Here we just have a whole bunch of bangles. Nothing special. Also, we have another pair of big old earrings. I'm not even quite sure they're rusting. What color they were supposed to be. They might be cool to redo or something. Put a different color paint on it. They're awesome. It's a little bit worn down. Here we have a circle brooch. I think everyone gets uh, a few of these. Here's the other earrings to match the other one I had earlier. So that we do have the pair now. Excuse my dogs, they're crazy today. Oh, this is really cute. I see a bunch of little knot lockets on here. Oh, it's all tangled. This one. So this looks like a silver tone locket necklace with plenty of lockets to choose from. That's a locket, that's a locket, and that's a locket. And this one's a locket. And then we have some of these little dangling discs. And I really can't find that. And... Oh boy. I'll have to get that untangled later. Oh, here's the end. It's got a lobster claw clasp. And it does have a little dangle. And I believe, yep, it is Premier Designs too. I do have to get it the rest of the way untangled. That's probably going to be one pretty long necklace. That's going to be my guess. With a bunch of lockets. have another round circle brooch. And this one is not signed either. Getting down to the bottom. Here we have a looks like a older vintage watch maybe. And it's a pulsar. Very cute. I wonder if it's lined up. No oh, quartz it's probably battery. Alright then we have this Gold tone and glass bead bracelet. Looks homemade. Oh my, my dogs are really going nuts. A uh, part of the watch. Here we have a, another toggle necklace. Almost looks like Premier Designs too. Yep, it is. I can see right there on the back. Oh boy, the kids must be getting home from school. I try to hurry up and finish this real quick. Aye, aye, aye. 
here we have a pair of these probably yep you might think these are gonna be a premier designs too premier designs clip on earrings some cat side square pieces in the middle we have a few pins here we have a little shell heart pendant that goes on a necklace a little tiny one a breast cancer pin and 2000 angel pin and 2000 These ones are probably you know, another pair of Premier Design clip-on earrings. Oh, this one's just a pair. Oh, no, okay. Here's a pair. So then we have a pair of those. And they're like a gunmetal color. And they have the clip-on back. And then we have a pair of gold ones that are Premier Designs, too. And they are clip-on. Cool. Oh, there's one missing. Oh, it looks like I'm missing the one that goes to this, unless it was hooked onto one of there. This looks like Premier Designs, too. A tassel earring. Little flower earrings. With a little faux pearl in the middle. Some backs. If you watch. I think those are watch pins. A little, another random little heart earring. And that's all. So, thank you for watching. Come back again. Sorry if my video wasn't the best. I'm still working on it. But I want to keep the momentum going. Put out another video. So, here I am doing it. Um, Look out for more videos. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.